శుభ సమావేశాలు లైవ్ లో చూద్దాం they have been properly trained in various aspects of the judicial academy which is in bhopal it gives more and more uh, uh, ed- education to the judges who have uh, who are in the similarly uh, the uh, we have several le- legislations which has which has been brought before the uh, uh, parliament which has certainly given a boost of course the transparency and accountability act judicial transparency and accountability bill which was slapped the uh, earlier occasions so we are working on it we will look into the matter after taking uh, the, the uh, suggestions from various stakeholders across the state kalla joshi madam thank you madam as explained by honorable minister the pendency has reduced but it is very marginal but i would like to ask uh, through you madam in the most of the countries like uh, france usa there is no provision for the vacation for the courts the judges in these countries can take the leave according to the, their convenience without affecting this smooth, smooth functioning madam but in our country there are so much uh, vacan- i mean uh, vacations for the supreme court high court and the subordinate courts many and there will be strikes also even from the lawyers nowadays and courts will be closed and even justice malimad committee which was set up by the central government on the reform the, he has recommended the Malim, justice malimad committee has recommended that three weeks increase in the annual working days of supreme court and high court so far it is not implemented my question to honorable minister is though he has initiated many reforms under the leadership of shri modi ji my question is whether is he going to increase the working days for the supreme court high court and subordinate courts and abolish the system of the vacation which has come to us from the colonial days i want to ask through you madam whether he is going to cut down these vac- i mean vacations second thing okay thank you madam madam speaker certainly the suggestion is well taken certainly the suggestion is well taken but we can come to a conclusion only after due discussion with the um, supreme court uh, chief justice as well as the other uh, justices of the the state also should be taken on board so a wider consultation as far as this matter is required certainly the suggestion of the member is well taken the second issue he has raised with regard to the advocates of course it is the bar council of india who who are looking after all these aspects so, uh, the advocates act 1961 which gives the clear mandate to the bar council of the bar council of india as well as the bar council of the state to look into the matter sampat speaker yes. madam speaker my i i would like to say a word of thanks to honorable minister for giving a proper reply to the question raised by honorable member shrimati geeta ji yes madam speaker it has been put to the notice of this house through you this house has put to the notice of the government of india that the judiciary lacks accountability transparency and scrutiny also here madam speaker i would like to invite your attention to the answer given by honorable minister sri sadananda gowda ji in the annexure in paragraph 3 the pendency in district and subordinate courts the number of cases which are pending as on 31st december 2014 is 2.64 crores it is approximately it is equivalent to the number of total number of population of my state it is almost to the population of the state of kerala madam speaker during the last two years there have not been much a decrease in the pendency of the cases while the minister admits that the, there are there are more than 5000 vacancies to be filled up in the lower and subordinate courts it is not with the national judicial appointment commission unless and until the vacancies lying in the subordinate courts are being filled up the pendency of the cases cannot we cannot deal with this so my same question my humble question to the minister through you madam yes what measures the government is intending to take up for the immediate appointment of 
for the filling up of all these lower court vacancies in the subordinate courts in order for the speedy disposal of the trial cases. Thank you, Madam. Already, Madam I